Okay, let's look at calculating price elasticity of demand using the approximation or average method. Okay, basically it, it starts off if you look at the at the graph. Okay, you have a graph like this, a demand curve, and we give you a situation say price is equal to twenty dollars. P one twenty dollars. Q1 is 100 units and then you just have your second situation Q2 is let's say 150 units and pre P2 is I don't know $15 okay so this is point A this is point B and given this information we ask you to find price elasticity of demand we didn't say find price elasticity of demand at point A. We didn't say find price elasticity of demand at point B. We say find price elasticity of demand. So you use your approximation method. Or your, what we also call your average method. Okay, Which then basically means we need to find something in between. Point C. Okay, We need to find point C. Okay, so that's basically what we are going to look at. Oops, I don't know where that line came from. So, approximation method. So, first thing first, formula. You got to know what the formula is, right? First thing first, if you ask you a question like this, you got to write the formula. You got to show us the formula. Price elasticity of demand is equal to change in Q given average quantity divided by change in price which is divided by average price okay in the lecture slide we gave it slightly differently it doesn't really matter it says essentially the same thing okay so basically there are 40, four unknowns there are four things we do not know right there are four unknowns four things we have to find out first we have to find out change in Q okay change in Q is simply Q2 minus Q1. You could put Q1 minus Q2, it doesn't matter. The thing about the approximation method is it doesn't matter if you're starting from point A and finishing at point B or starting at point B and finishing from point A. You get exactly the same answer. Then change in price, P2 minus P1. Then average quantity, okay, P1 plus P2 divided by 2, right? There's two prices, so we divide by 3. If we had P1 plus P2 plus P3, then we divide by 3. But we don't. And average price. Oh, sorry. Q1. Uh, Q1 plus Q2 divided by 2. And then for price, it's P1 plus P2 divided by 2. Okay. So what we have here are four unknowns, and we want to solve our four unknowns. Okay, let's look at the information that we have and we can write it up. Okay, so what do we know? We know that P1 is $20 and Q1 is 100 units. We know that P2 is $15 and Q2 is 150 units. This makes sense. As price comes down, quantity demanded goes up. Okay, so we just find our four unknowns, right? We find our four unknowns, okay? Unknown number one, change in Q. Change in Q, Q2 minus Q1. Q2 is 150, Q1 is 100. Change in Q is 50. Okay, change in Q equals... 50. Okay, change in P. P2 minus P1. 15 minus 20 equals minus $5. The minus sign is very important. Price elasticity of demand must always be a negative value. So one of your four unknowns must be negative. 
Now we find our third unknown, average quantity. Q1 plus Q2 divided by 2. Q1 was 100, Q2 was 150 divided by 2, 250 divided by 2. Your average quantity is 125. And now we find the last unknown, average price. P1 plus P2 divided by 2. Uh, 20 plus 15 divided by 2, 35 divided by 2, 17.5. And you got to show me all these workings. In the tutorial, some of you, simply, even though I gave you space for the working, you simply gave me the answer with one extra step. Right? That's, not, that's not correct. Short answer or discussion question, you have to show me everything. Okay? So now we have the formula. And we have our four unknowns. Okay, and so we can solve this. Change in Q, 50. Average Q, 1 to 5. Change in price, minus 5. Divided by average price, 1750. I used a calculator and I got 0 0.4 divided by minus 0 0.29 to give me an answer of minus 1.38 okay again the minus sign is very important price elasticity of demand must be minus you can write it without the minus sign if you use the absolute value you can write it like that that is correct but if you just write it like that that is wrong okay so if you're not going to put the negative value you got to write it in absolute terms okay so what we've done now is we have answered the question price elasticity of demand for this graph given these values is minus 1.38 right you know there could be another question saying okay uh, what, what does your answer suggest and then you can say it suggests if we increase price by one percent quantity demanded will fall by 1.38 percent 